Well, hello everyone. So if you are drawn to this reading, there may be a message here for you. But please keep in mind that this reading is for the students in my Sacred Partnerships course, and more details about that is in the description below. But diving right into the reading, this reading, Spirit Separated into Four Parts. So the timestamps for that are in the description. So diving right into it, they're quite eager. So these messages are all related to the new moon that was yesterday and what's this new moon cycle bringing for everyone and what are the teachings so i was drawn to pull out cards from the lover's oracle and the first card that popped out how appropriate for the new moon is new beginning and the message is a new adventure awaits embrace it and live your dreams passionately so this message goes two ways i'm hearing the spirit guides in the class say or the spirit guides that are what the students in the class are saying so one of the things is keep pursuing what you're doing and if you are taking courses to other courses that you are doing to improve yourself or to grow yourself keep doing that the other thing is you may need to go back any goals that you may have set in January and you may need to adjust it maybe rewrite your goal or dreams because as you change your goals and dreams need to be updated also so that your goals and dreams continue to match the vibration that you continue to evolve into so you may need to go back to your journal or perhaps there's a piece of paper where you set your intentions for this course or for the year and look into that ask yourself what needs to change i know a lot of you felt uh, quite a bit <laughs> in our first circle releasing a lot of this stuff and we're we are approaching our second gathering our second healing circle so you may need to look into what things have shifted within you and what needs to change is in particular the goals and dreams for yourself but as you are starting this new beginning, this new cycle, and I'm hearing this is about two or three months for a lot of you. So they're saying this new beginning phase will be about that length of time where you can really start to feel the energy of it and understand what this new cycle may be bringing and teaching you. So as this energy is building up, give thanks. That's the next card that have popped out. So give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. So how wonderful that this heart card popped out. So when we start a new beginning, it's always great to start with gratitude. Give thanks to the past, what they have taught us, and acknowledge the lessons we learned so that we feel when we affirm things like that we start to feel a little bit more confident and when we feel grateful and confident then things might start to really accelerate for you in terms of releasing things or healing a little bit more than you expected perhaps along your journey so practice that gratitude however way that resonates with you so going on now to the energy flow that is coming so with this energy flow, it's going to encourage or test that new cycle, that new beginning that's happening for you. So the first card that had popped out from the moon cards is step out of your comfort zone. So this goes back to the message in the new beginnings card. So as you're going forward in your journey, you might want to reflect back on the goals or intentions that you had set for this year or for the sacred partnerships course and ask yourself if you need to adjust it or upgrade or update that goal because like they said as you evolve and change you will need to also change your goals and dreams so that your goals and dreams continue to match your spiritual vibration so when the message comes out twice like that it's something that's very important to do so you might also want to ask yourself how do you want to step out of your comfort zone 
How are you playing safe these days, or how have you played safe in the past, or what have kept you safe? And if you were absolutely fearless, what would you do? <laughs> and how would you go about doing it? So ask yourself those things, because those questions may help to update those goals or intentions that you have set. So speaking of new cycles beginning. Here's another card that affirms that new start. So a new romantic cycle begins. That's the next moon card that popped out. So I feel like this card had come out also in the previous reading for the sacred partnerships. So that means that cycle is still continuing for some of you. And like I or like spirit likes to mention, <laughs> a new romantic cycle could mean many things, right? It could be being more connected to yourself. It could be feeling more connected to life. So you could feel this love, this romance, perhaps around life and living life to the fullest. So there you go. It goes back to how do you want to step out of your comfort zone so that you could fully feel life. For some of you, there could be a new romantic interest coming in to teach you more lessons. So also keep in mind, and I know the students in the Sacred Partnerships course, you're all very open to teachings that are going to come your way that spirit in the universe will send to you. So when you are seeing someone new, or if you are with someone, look into how you're still being triggered because those are the things that still need to be healed. When we are triggered, it's possibly that it is an unhealed inner child wound. And yes, we're going to go into inner wounded child stuff in our next circle. So stay tuned for that. I know on Thursday, we are all gathering to share our stories and our journey so far. So I will also be gathering and tuning in intuitively how your inner child may be open to our next journey. So keep in mind of how different romantic cycles may begin for you. You may also, and I'm hearing there are quite a few artists in this group or those who are listening. So look into how this new inspiration might come in with a new creative project. That's a bit of a romantic cycle, isn't it? Because <laughs> I am an artist myself, so when a new project comes in, it's a relationship to the soul, the spirit inside that creative project. And it feels like a bit of a romantic whirlwind with that creative project of mine, because it's exciting, it's very ins inspiring, and I'm learning something with my relationship to that creative project as I am making it. So keep in mind how this romantic cycle could manifest in your life. I'm seeing a book. So for some of you might fall in love with a wonderful book. <laughs> I love that there are book lovers who are listening here on YouTube. So the last and final card, and it came out of course in perfect order because it really goes into the third section of this reading. So the last card here, what kind of energy is going to come up? A personal issue reaches resolution. So someone from the past may come forward. And this morning, I actually had an email from one of you saying that someone that you were with in the past, something had happened and now their energy is back in your life. So this just this card popping out <laughs> just affirms that. So look into what kind of closures may be needed with the people in the past and what other personal issues may be coming up for you. So we'll discuss more of that on Thursday night. So other issues and that are coming up that are also connected to the people from the past. That's what we're going to get into next. So this third part of this channeled guidance is what are the people from your past? What are they working through right now and how it may impact you possibly? So I consulted my Truth Oracle deck for this as I was guided to do. So the first card that popped out is I hope that you can forgive me one day. So when this card pops out, it means that something has shifted 
in that person. And you may be starting to feel that also because you might start to think of that person for no reason. <laughs> so, this is where we did the、um, cord pull release and full cancellation. But another layer of that may need to be done when we meet for the second time. So, Keep in mind of any thoughts of people from the past that may come up in your head within the next few days or months. When you think about people and you're surprised of the people that are coming up in your mind, it means that something is shifting in them. And that means something could possibly shift within you. So I hope that you can forgive me one day. This means some major shift. Is happening this storyline? <laughs> I hope you can forgive me one day. This story means that there's some good shift that's happening to that old connection. The next card that popped out another good sign that something is shifting deeply, and probably the reason why the card's new beginning and a new romantic cycle is coming up. So The next card is It's time for me to heal now. So, the people in the past who have hurt you, they are recognizing and also acknowledging the hurt that they have done to you and realizing that they, they've got to do some healing themselves also. So, this second card is another good sign that there's some major shift that is happening. And Sometimes, <clears throat> excuse me, I had to clear my throat because another、uh, female spirit guy that belongs to a student is stepping in. So you might notice my voice intonations have changed a little bit because I could feel her energy within my voice box. But she is saying that because some of you have shifted so much, that it's actually shifted and triggered some change in the people. That you were connected with in the past. And that is why these cards have popped out. It's almost like Sending out、um, a pigeon and that pigeon delivering <laughs> something and that pigeon coming back to you. Another spirit guide is making that joke. So it's almost like this beautiful、um, boomerang effect, if you want to call it that. So there's shifts happening. And do keep in mind that when shifts like this happen, and this is referring to a new romantic cycle begins and the new beginning card. A past partner may return. And I know some of you have had that. So, when a past partner returns, and there's these cards here saying, you know, oh, I hope you can forgive me and it's time for me to heal, it could be healing on a different level where you need to have a conversation of what had happened between the two of you. It does not necessarily mean that you're going to get back together with that person. It means that there could be some closure happening. So do keep that in mind. I do want to be real and honest. The last card here is I wish I had treated you better. So there is this sense of remorse and regret. So continue doing that inner work within yourself. With this storyline that has come out from the Truth Oracle cards, we may need to do a smaller meditation or a separate one that might post in the course of actually meeting these people in our meditative state and doing some of that forgiveness meditation work. And only if you're ready for it. Forgiveness is another big F word, isn't it? <laughs> and it has to happen when it's ready to happen. So, just wanted to offer that,、um, or Spirit just wanted to offer that as a side meditation. So, keep that in mind and keep your eye open for when that pops up and is available in the online course. But now that we've spoken about the connections between people that are also shifting, we are now going to go into the last part of this. So, the final part of this. Is where the goddesses want to come out and offer their guidance and support. So, three goddesses have come out from my goddess oracle deck. And the first one who had come out, and I laughed when 
this goddess came out because I thought, oh, okay, she wants to help some of us out with stepping out of our comfort zones, which was one of the messages. So Freya, the goddess Freya, and her message is about being bold. So her message here is unleash your adventurous side, take risks and be daring. So ask yourself those questions that Spirit mentioned earlier in this reading. How do you want to push your boundaries a little bit in a way that's safe but encourages your inner growth and change? The next goddess is Aphrodite. And I laughed again because I'm like, of course, this is about sacred partnerships and love. <laughs> so, of course, Aphrodite, goddess of love, comes out. And she wants to focus more of the energy of the inner goddess. So her message is awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. So however that self-care looks and feels like for you, I'm hearing from a spirit guide here, someone's spirit guide, to also set up a ritual. And it doesn't have to be elaborate. It could be simple as pouring yourself tea, lighting a candle, and just sitting quietly for a few minutes so you can center yourself. Centering is just bringing the awareness back into your body and feeling yourself in your body without any external distractions. And then grounding your energy, imagining Mother Earth really bringing up her energy and wrapping her grounding energy around you and really breathing that in like we do in the meditations. So even that simple ritual itself can help you t tune into your inner goddess. So I'm hearing music will be quite powerful for a lot of you. So dance and movement like the card had mentioned. So we'll discuss more of that also when we meet on Thursday night. The final goddess here is Mat. And she's talking about fairness. Interesting. <laughs> because, and I'm saying interesting because my spirit guy's saying, huh, because the storylines from the people from our past are saying, I've, I've changed. I, I now see things differently. So there's some balancing work happening. And on this card, the goddess Mott is holding um, that scale. So her message is, this situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. So let's say a person from the past comes into your life and you need to have that conversation, either to speak your truth or set your boundaries on, in some ways. I'm hearing some of you are still grieving and still processing whatever that has ended or how they have treated you in the past. So keep those things in mind set those boundaries, speak your truth if you need to, if a situation arises where you need to be in conversation with someone from your past. And continue with that grieving process because when we don't grieve, it becomes anger sometimes. <laughs> and it could evolve into other forms of emotions. So allow your inner self, inner child, inner teenager, even your inner young adult to feel any grief or sorrow and journal that and let's all discuss that when we meet. So that is all that they want to say and I look forward to continuing this journey with all of you. Have a beautiful day.